Gaming keyboards. They're all the same nowadays, aren't they? Black plastic body, RGB lighting, mechanical switches, that one gimmicky feature that doesn't really matter, pretty much. In my reviews, I rarely focus on those random gimmicky features because you forget about them within a month or two. With that in mind, the gaming keyboards that really stand out to me are the ones that go all in on a really good design without sacrificing the actual ergonomics or normal functionality of the keyboard. I think Logitech has done a great job in achieving this with the G413 that I have here today, though it's not perfect. The G413 comes in two flavors, carbon and silver. The carbon is a darker theme with red backlighting, and the silver, the one I have, obviously features a silver metal plate with whitish lighting and it's freaking beautiful. The compact nature of this keyboard is the first thing that I noticed. It's not any longer or wider than it needs to be. Ha ha, funny male genital joke here, ha ha ha. But it doesn't cram the keys together. It's super slim. I absolutely love it, especially with my multi-keyboard workspace. I complimented the G430 on not taking up as much space as most gaming keyboards, but this is even thinner. The keys all sit above the back plate, allowing dust and crumbs to easily be cleaned up and giving it a very nice look. The white backlit Romer G switches shine off the aluminum magnesium alloy silver plate, revealing one of my issues. The silver plate does a great job at highlighting just how blue white LEDs can be. At a glance it might look white, but look at it long enough and it starts to look very blue. Thankfully, blue and silver still go well together and it's not the G413 white, it's the G413 silver. I guess that works. The font here isn't obnoxious or gamery, I find it kind of pleasant. The keycaps are nice to use, but they actually include more tactile keycaps for Q, W, E, R, A, S, D, and 1 through 5. For gamers who really want to feel that their gamer keys are doing gamer things while they game as a gamer. No, but really, I do appreciate the inclusion and the fact that they're optional, especially since Romer G switches and Cherry keycaps don't exactly get along. While I was typing a video script on this, the keycap on the C key fell off. It's not broken, it went back on correctly, and I can't recreate whatever happened. But it happened. A function key is included, adding media keys to F9 through F12, and the print screen, scroll lock, and pause buttons, as well as a brightness toggle to F7, and a game mode to F8. Strangely, they only included LED indicators for game mode and caps lock. I love the sleek design of these indicators, but they totally had room for at least Numlock, and I would have really preferred they keep it on there. This time the Logitech G logo does not light up, and it actually looks pretty slick in the corner. Behind that corner logo is a USB port. This is where I have another problem with the keyboard. The USB port is on the right side, which means anything you plug into it might interfere with your mouse usage. Also, since the USB cable isn't detachable, you're stuck with this monstrosity. Okay, it's not that bad. It's a thick, soft braided cable that's a joy to run until it cleans a lot of dust. But the dual USB ends for both the keyboard and the pass-through, with no indication of which port you need for just the keyboard, really bugs me. Back to the good points. The keyboard is heavy for its size and super rugged. No flex and it won't slide out of the way while you're using it. The rubber feet and solid risers on the bottom do a lot to help this as well. The Romer G switches are a delight to type on. As I mentioned in my G430 review, they have a short actuation time, making them feel a little stubby on the first use, but very easy to use once you get used to them. They feel way more comfortable to type on than almost any MX switch I've used, especially with my hand issues, and they're a lot quieter. I plan to make a full separate sound comparison video, but here's a quick sound sample. Overall, this is a very beautiful keyboard. Logitech appears to have reached the point of realizing that the keyboard market needs less gamery flair and more slick designs, and they've delivered. For only 90 bucks, too. I would love to see them support Mac and Linux more with their software, though. While they're at it, G15, G510, something like that. Please give us a mechanical backlit version. I'm begging you. I'd pay like 150 to 200 bucks for it. Please. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Logitech G413 Silver Mechanical Keyboard. 